favorite TV show growing up? Uh, Twin Peaks. And what was your nickname growing up? Little Rod. What was the first job you ever had? Uh, I worked at a giant uh, amusement park in uh, Germantown, which was called Spassburg, and I wore lederhosen and I stocked the games with uh, plush stuffed animals. If you were a superhero, what would your superpower be? I think it'd be good to be able, I, I've always thought it'd be good to read people's minds. And what would your kryptonite be? Probably boobs. Cape or no cape? No cape. Uh, what's an outdated fashion trend you hope makes a comeback? Parachute pants. And a current trend you hope disappears forever? Uh, dudes with the shirts that are like mid, hang mid thigh, like they're short in the front, but they hang in the back, but they're like t-shirts. What? What's the sexiest accent? Australian. And funniest sounding non-funny word? Hoot nanny. What's a hidden talent of yours? If given enough time, tie a cherry stem in a knot with my tongue because of Twin Peaks. On a scale of one to 10, how good a detective do you think you'd make? Three. And on a scale of one to 10, how good a criminal would you make? Seven. What's the first album you ever owned? Uh, Muppet Movie Soundtrack. First concert? New edition. Guiltiest pleasure in your music library? Erasure. And what's a song that's guaranteed to get you dancing? Bizarre Love Triangle. Do you have a favorite dance move? It's just, it's sort of, it's more of a sort of ethereal, like Cure-esque vibe than a single move. What's your go-to karaoke song? Anything by Enya. And what's uh, Sean's go-to karaoke song? Uh, Africa by Toto. And finally, what's your favorite non-psych TV theme song? Uh, Twin Peaks, and if you want something that isn't always Twin Peaks, I'll say uh, Greatest American Hero. Believe it or not, I'm walking on air. Never thought I could feel so free. Something is something on a wing and a prayer. Wait for it. Who could it be? William Cat in the hair. Believe it or not, it's just me.